Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for viewing. Um, yes, I don't know how I managed to do it, but my audio is gone. So I'm doing a voiceover all the way. I mean, there is one section that the audio is... No, no, the audio is all gone. Just looking, just checked. Sorry, I'm so sorry this happened. I will make it up to you in the future. Um, but basically right now what I'm talking about is the big changes going on in the dev community. GitHub is one of the largest platforms for developers to share and manage their code. And right now they're going through a huge change due to everything that's happening here in the US. They are changing the master branch, the main branch from master to main. So um, I'm not sure when exactly these changes will take place and when they'll start making that the def main, the default um, main branch. But you can expect it. You, you I, I know you can expect it to happen fairly soon. Um, uh, I never thought of the master branch as like a master slave kind of relationship to other branches. Um, I just thought of it as like, well, this is the main branch and I'm merging other branches into this branch to have the final, to have like the final code. Other than that, um, I, I have seen, I like what I have seen, I've seen terms like whitelisting and blacklisting. So like these kinds of terms I'm familiar with, like as a uh, blacklisting, are things you don't want to allow. Whitelisting, like let's say I'm whitelisting IP addresses that can make calls to my application. Um, so it's like, these are the things that I am allowing. So this is the kind of stuff that I've seen in the dev community. I have, but the uh, master slave kind of thing, I have not seen. Um, I'm probably gonna do some more research later just to like look into it to see where like master slave relationships are being used in software engineering. Yeah, so I just decided to do this now. Um, it seems like in electronics this is used. Uh, Master-slave relationships are common terms to describe various aspects of uh, flip-flops, computer buses, and communication protocols, uh, such as a master clock that provides time signals used to synchronize one or more slave clocks as part of a clock network. So like that's one example. In database replication, the master database is regarded as the authoritative source and the slave databases are synchronized to it. Um, there are a few more examples of where this is used in technology and software development and hardware development, but um, yeah. Cool. So now that we've gotten that, I'm going to teach you how to change your main branch from master to main. And um, it's, it's pretty simple, actually. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is a git branch-m master main. So what this command is going to do is going to move all M, the dash M stands for move. So it's going to move all of the changes, all the commits, everything from master to main. And then that will set you, that'll set main as your main branch. Okay. So now that we've gotten that, yeah, I know, super easy, super simple. We also have to git push origin dash U main. So now GitHub will have it. If we navigate to our GitHub repository and we open our branches, we'll see main there. So it's not our default branch on GitHub. We have to go to our settings and we have to go to branches. And here is gonna be where we're able to update our default branch from master to main. Yes, you understand. And there we go. And that is it for the video. Um, I hope you liked it. I'm Again, I apologize for not having audio in those clips. And I know I could have just filmed it over, but I've, I've filmed it twice now. So um, yeah, that is about it for the video. Please 
uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I post next. And also leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me, tell everyone, tell us what you think about these changes. Do you think that they are too extreme? Do you think that this is something that we've needed for years? Do you, you know, let us know in the comment. Let's have some healthy discussions. Um, and that is it from me. Thank you.